Well, for more now on Portugal's budget and indeed the reaction in the markets, MF Global's head of interest rate strategy, Philip Tyson, joins me from his London office. Thanks very much for speaking to us, Philip. So no we're expecting the plan, as you would expect, to include cuts in wages, tax hikes. I suppose the question is whether or not Portugal can stomach these kinds of cutbacks. Well, exactly. That is a, is a very good question. And, you know, the problem that they have amongst everything else is that they're in a situation where they've got a, a minority government. And the socialist government needs to get this budget passed by the end of the month. It needs to get the agreement of the uh, main opposition parties, particularly the, the, the more centre uh, social democrats. And they are more in favour of public spending cuts rather than tax hikes. But, you know, one of the central features of this budget is a 2% hike in uh, in VAT and also they want to remove some of the tax deductions which have benefited the the middle class in particular they've got a lot to do I mean they've really got to get this budget deficit down from some sort of close to 10 percent of GDP last year they want to get it down to less than five percent or so um, by next year so it's going to be sort of you know big tax hikes uh, quite savage uh, spending cuts uh, the unions don't like it there is there's a general strike planned for for next month and I think we're going to enter a period in the next few weeks of, of, of political uncertainty while a wrangling goes on as we try to get this uh, budget uh, passed through, um, through through Parliament because you know the, the Prime Minister has threatened to resign if, if that doesn't happen and you know bond markets do not like political uncertainty and while Portugal has benefited along with uh, Ireland and um, and Greece somewhat by the latest sort of out of, of risk appetites, you know, yields have mm. fallen, spreads have come in, that, uh, that could easily sort of reverse. Right, so clearly from what you're saying it's going to be very difficult to push this budget through. There are going to be political risks, obstacles. What reaction can we expect in the markets? How will it affect Portugal's credibility in the markets if this budget does not go through? Well, I think if the budget doesn't go through, then you're going to get real concerns that we're entering a sort of Greece-style uh, situation again. And we will see yields back up. As I say, they're down, 10-year yields are down to, uh, to around about 6% or so now. Um, they're down from the sort of recent highs of 6.5%. We we'll certainly could see those rising back up to that level, maybe beyond, and we could see spreads uh, against Germany sort of widening out back above 4 100 basis points again in the 10-year sector. Um, you know, there will be real concerns about the credibility of, uh, of Portugal. And obviously, you know, the other thing is that the, their banks are still heavily reliant on uh, ECB lending uh, in the money markets, which is another factor, a bit like the, the Irish banks, that the, markets, that the markets will be focusing on. So the banks are in trouble. They're dependent on ECB funding. Uh, the government has to push through a rather ambitious uh, budget plan. What, from what you can see, what are investors thinking about the risk uh, of a sovereign default in Portugal? Um, I, I think at the moment it's uh, that, 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 that's more on the back burner, but it's something that certainly uh, the, the risk of that will rise if we don't see the, the budget getting passed, and we'll only know that. Uh, you know, in, in the next few weeks. But certainly, if you look at where so, uh, spreads are now in, in, the, in the peripheral bond markets, I think you've got the markets like Greece, Portugal, and Ireland, which are going to stay at a wider yield base uh, versus Germany um, over the next few years, because basically their fiscal situation is going to be a lot harder to, to sort out. Then you've got the other markets like Italy and Spain, which are, for the moment, being given the benefit of the doubt. I mean, we could get anxieties returning there, but they're in a sort of second division, if you like, versus, versus the core. But certainly um, Portugal, along with Ireland and Greece, are going to be uh, condemned to wider spreads for now. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us. Philip Tyson, head of strategy at MF Global. Great to get your thoughts.